And there you have it. We are going to be moving into the first round, which is going to be Emperor's Edge. We will see which side the teams want. But be close enough. We get ready. And for the 16 v 16 between Phoenix Elite Network and Dirty Dozen should be a pretty good match. Both teams came to play D12, a new team. Phoenix Elite Network, a veteran team. We're going to see which side both teams are on. It looks like we're going to have D12 in blue. The Phoenix Elite Network in red. So our labels are correct. We are going to wait for that three-minute mark to roll out before we jump into this. Is going to be hardcore as well. Large scale. I believe that map between Enjoy and EXM is wrapping up over there for McJames Games. Not 100% sure, but we are about to find out. We should see some more viewers pop in here. Nonetheless, it should be a good map. I have to say, I'm not sure who is going to win. I know D12 has some serious serious air superiority fluffy marshmallows in the plane is going to be in there doing some work and i believe a lot of what is going to determine who wins this map is who controls the air let's take a look at the scoreboard see who all we've got in here we've got the moist kumquat chanander chan ander greyhound hardcore ashy MN Country, Mr. Triplet, the leader, Pin Bosch, Changa's infamous pup, Skyline, the Rebel, Tomcat, Varnon, Wind Sentinel, and Restolent, along with a crazy Indian. I know that guy. On the other side, we're gonna have Zoink Toaster, Sloak, Sleepy, Mr. Ninja, Death, Scruffy, Kill 'em All, Medicant, the leader, Blackhawk, Buzzkiller, Ted Striker, Fluffy Marshmallows. Cozy Pajamas, a.k.a. Battle Jamas, if you see them in the chat. AMZ and Dirty Blunts. Krula jumping out and saying, Pin is already at G. I think you're mistaken, my friend. They're not at G. They are still behind the line. Pin does know what they're doing. But that's just kind of how this map works out. Puts them very, very close to G. That's why both teams play this from both sides. <clears throat> so they cannot do that. We are about, about 40 seconds from this popping off. We're going to see how each team does. We're probably going to grab some air work right here in the beginning. Right as it rolls off again. If you're just jumping in here, you are just in time. This is going to be a round one of the first map. In this 16 v 16 between pin and d12 hardcore conquest right here on the hardcore league let's get ready for it 10 seconds counting down we're gonna see how pin handles the air i think that is gonna be their weak spot unless they've got a pilot that i don't know about i know crazy indian is pretty good but fluffy marshmallow is arguably one of the best and we're gonna see him start to roll out right now and here is Fluffy coming out in the attack plane early. It's going to go head to head against one of them right here. It's going to be the bomber. Rebel in the bomber. Who do we have in the plane? Crazy Indian, just as I thought. They're going to wrap right around each other. <clears throat> Crazy's going to grab some high ground and try to fall in on one. He is. He's going to fall right in behind one. Showing his pilot skills, but at the same time, Fluffy is going to move in on his six and try to do something all crazy can do is hope that he can drop that other plane before it's all over with. And Phoenix Elite Network anticipating Fluffy Marshmallows being a problem and bringing the AA in, and Fluffy is going to have to bail out. Crazy Indian's going to wrap around himself and look for the enemy plane. But he says, screw it, and he's going to bail out and move in onto the Delta objective. And we're going to see, again, D12 in blue, Phoenix Elite Network in red. And let's grab an overview right here. Or let's jump in on Scruffy. Crazy Indian is going to be coming around the corner. Scruffy's going to be looking for him, and he's going to pick him up. And that's going to ensure that they secure the Delta flag right there. And let's grab an overview of this Charlie flag.
Dirty Blunt's the only one left for D12, trying to hold down the, the flag here. <coughs> We're gonna see how he does. And he actually is securing it uncontested. Almost shoots a friendly right there. As they are not used to playing hardcore, that is correct. Almost forgot about that. D12 is not a hardcore team, so they're gonna have some problems. Determining the friendlies, we're gonna see some friendly kills going down from Tomcat though. He's got a medic close by, medic going down as well. One more medic coming on, Scruffy. Oh, and they are gonna get the revives and they're gonna try to hang on to this objective right here. Right now, Phoenix Elite Network is in the lead by just a few tickets. Oh, but going down and there you have it. Friendly kill, the first one we've seen. Sleepy taking out a friendly guy. We're gonna grab an overview right here as Pin pushes up from Foxtrot. D12 pushing in from the other side. Hardcore Ashy moving up, but he is going to get dropped by AMZ. Pestilent looking to move up, but taking some shots from distance. I'm not sure where that's coming from. We've got Chagas in here. Oh, and look at that. That's going to be an artillery all the way up at the top. Cozy Pajamas with an overview right here of the map. Doing work and right now. D12 has the majority of the flags. They've jumped into the lead. Phoenix Elite Network is going to need to change up their tactics and do something drastic here to get on top. We're going to jump in with Varnon as he moves up. Going to get dropped right there. Scruffy's going to be right on top of him. Crazy Indian moving in though. Trying to do something as an assault, but going down, Fluffy Marshmallows coming in with that plane. And as I said, they are controlling the air right now, and that is very important. We're going to jump in with Slow because he looks to defend the Duff objective. He's going to spot a contact. Try to catch him on the outside. Looks like he lost visual on him. Gonna be right on top of him right there. Oh, and he's gonna go down. He's gonna get knifed by Chenander. But Chenander's instantly gonna go down at the hands of Sleepy. And there you have it. D12 is gonna maintain the majority. Phoenix Elite Network has managed to grab up the Charlie flag. They are losing Freddy, however. From a squad of D12, Blackhawk, Buzzkiller. Zoink Toaster and Dirty Blunt. Oh, but some rounds are going to come in. Pin Rebel in the bomber is going to drop some shells. But Ted Striker is going to be on his six, lighting him up. Oh, rolling the anti-tank loadout and dropping him right there. Lining up on another one. Along with Fluffy Marshmallows. Looking to get the long shot. Gets right in on the six. Is going to miss. Oh, and take some shots. Team kill. Taking out Fluffy Marshmallow. And both planes go down. Crazy Indians. Going to be left to his own devices up in the air. We have taken objective Freddy. And is looking for some contacts on the ground. Actually, he's going to bail out. He should have kept utilizing that plane there. That would have helped him out quite a bit. Moving in on the Delta flag, though. Phoenix Elite Network. Looking to change up their tactics. They're going to drop down onto the Butters objective. They're going to try to secure Edward as well. They're pushing in on Freddy. Let's take a look at this. See who we've got right here. Mr. Triplet, Infamous Pup, and the Rebel moving in. Along with the Moist Kumquat. Going to be trying to move in on the Freddy flag. We're going to have a 4v4, a 4v3 right now. And it's going to start going into the favor of Phoenix Elite Network. Buzzkiller taking one out but getting dropped by Mr. Triplet. So we're going to see a 3v2. And they're going to start securing it. We're going to jump in with Mr. Triplet. He's got one out front. He's going to drop him right there. That's going to be Zoink Toaster going down. They have one more in the corner. Dirty Blunts is going to be dropping him. Rebel's going to be moving in. I believe he just tossed a limpet in there. Didn't pick anybody up. Oh, drops a friendly right there. Kind of a noob move from a veteran hardcore team. And Phoenix Elite Network is looking to sway the map right now as they are going for a solid five cap. I don't know if they're going to be able to secure this flag up. The leader, Pin Bosch, 
trying to hold out for his team. I can't seem to land on him, and that's because he has died at the hands of Medicant. Leader versus leader, Medicant comes out on top, and they're going to start securing the Charlie objective. Phoenix Elite Network is going to be losing Bravo. He's going to need some help down here. He has got an artillery truck. Oh, and he's going to go down. Get a grenade off right under him and definitely hurt him with that grenade, but does not take him out. And Phoenix Elite Network has dedicated some forces to the Bravo flag. And it's really going to help if they can secure this. They are also securing up the Charlie flag. As Varnon tries to defend Delta from a huge onslaught of D12 players. Oh, going to catch one as he rounds the corner right there. That's going to be sleepy. And it looks like we've got a 1v1 going on right here. He's going to be looking for the other contact. I'm going to do something real quick, ladies and gentlemen. Let's... Hi. See if that changes anything up for us. As far as those weird frame drops... Looking for one down low. He's going to grab one down low, and they're going to secure Delta. But again, D12 does have a significant lead on him. And I am just not liking the way that's looking. We're going to switch that right on back to very high quality because it's so much prettier. And just hope that that fixed it right there. Me messing with some stuff. That tends to happen every now and again. We're going to jump in with Sloke. Sloke's going to go down from Scruffy, though. Friendly takes him out. We've got one more hole in Delta here. Taking it for their team. D12, a 30 ticket lead right now over Phoenix Elite Network. This is only going to be to 500 tickets. We're going to try to grab an overview as there are a lot of players there. Hardcore Ashy coming in, picking one up, but going down to Scruffy. Crazy Indian looking to make a move as well, but is also going to go down. Sleepy's going to pick him up. They do have one more. Varnan looking to do something yet again. Scruffy's going to come around the corner. Oh, but he's going to get knifed right in the face by Varnan with that saber. Sleepy and AMZ is still in there. Varnan on the backside. He's going to want to move in on the flag, though. Crazy Indian getting that spawn as well. Blackhawk hanging in there. Varnan as well holding on. But Sloke is going to take him out. And they're going to maintain that cap. Phoenix Elite Network looking to drop onto the back cap right here. Scruffy looking to shut him down. He's going to spot one and drop him with a quickness. That's going to be Tomcat going down at the hands of Scruffy back on the Apple's objective. Gonna look to move inside. Popping some shots. Doesn't know where he's at. Wings a grenade and he's gonna find him right there and drop him. That's going to be Changas from Phoenix Elite Network. So they're gonna shut down that back burn and that is going to hurt the Phoenix Elite Network team. They are pushing a large force under the Charlie flag. Pin Bosch is gonna pick one up right there from the corner and they are gonna start securing Charlie. Sloke's going to be moving in from the Delta side. Oh, but he's going to get dropped point blank by Chenander on that stationary. And quickly go down from Sleepy. Varnan comes around the corner. AMZ is going to drop him. And AMZ is making a push in on the flag right now. He's going to find one in the corner. Crazy Indian goes down. Gets a grenade out as well. Unable to pick anybody up with that grenade, but is going to start securing uncontested. Grabbing up another one right there. MN Country. Going down in D12. Looking to do some work. Is there jumping into lead Pestilence. He's going to have one at distance. Put some shots on him, but goes down. AMZ drops him in his back. And his grenade does not pick up anybody. Head striker on the six of this plane right here, looking to drop him with those anti-tank shells. But he appears to be missing. Oh, catches him right there, right before he bails out. 
He is going to bail out and start moving on the Charlie objective. Looking to get a flank here, but he's going to be catching some shots in the back. Waiting for the contact to move up, but a grenade lands next to him, and Medicant is going to take him out. D12 coming in hot and heavy. Infamous pup chasing a guy down looking for the knife. I'd probably just went for the kill. He is going to get the kill, though. Buzzkiller is going to drop down, go right past Varnon, and try to get back in on the flag. He's going to catch one. He's going to drop one. Looking for a second, but going to take some shots and go down. Blackhawk looking to make a move. Hardcore Ash is going to go down. Blackhawk moving in on Delta. If Phoenix Elite Network grabs Delta here, they're going to secure a 4-cap as they're securing Alpha as well. So Blackhawk needs to do some work. Although D12 is almost 100 tickets up right now, he's going to go down. Shenander is going to pick him up. And the battle is going to be real right here on the Delta flag. Dirty Blunts, Medicant, Sleepy, Sloak moving in on Wind Sentinel, Varnon, and Shenander. Along with a crazy Indian, a crazy Indian comes down, but they're getting dropped left and right. Shenander going down to Sloak. Sloak picking up a solid two-piece. Medicant anchoring for his team. They are going to secure it. They are going to grab up the four cap. So Phoenix Elite Network is going to start bleeding the tickets in their favor. But Medicant is going to come up and try to do something right here. The wind, the rain, and the fog is going to close in as both of these teams battle it out for the win. D12 breaking the 400 ticket mark. Less than 100 tickets. And Medicant coming in, grabbing a solid two-piece, leading by example, taking his team to victory as he starts securing the Duff flag for his team. But again, Phoenix Elite Network is not going to give up that easy. Wind Sentinel moving around the bottom, looking to get a little bit of a flank in here. Oh, going to catch one right out in front and go down. Zoink Toaster is going to drop him. And Phoenix Elite Network looks to be securing Delta yet again. They definitely need to close the ticket gap as much as they possibly can so they have a chance in the next round. I don't know if they have enough to pull it out this round. I don't think so. Dirty Blunts is going to be advancing on the flag. We're going to try to jump in with him if we can. There we go. He's going to take some shots around the corner. And try to get a C4 kill. Unable to do so. He's going to die. Oh, no, he does not. I thought he was going to be done right there when he jumped off. We have lost objective and still a 100 ticket difference. Phoenix Elite Network going for a 5 cap right now. They know that they need the tickets in order to make the difference and they're gonna secure up Bravo. They're trying to secure up Charlie. They have been wiped off of Alpha right now. And D12 looks to be securing Bravo. Head striker again, chasing down the bomber. Oh, and he's gonna drop it right there with a solid shot. And Crazy Indian's gonna be moving back up on Delta. 40 tickets left. He's going to catch one out of position and stop the Delta burn in its tracks. Oh, and he's going to get a solid knife right there on Blackhawk. And they're going to start securing the Duff objective. We've got a couple of 1v1s going on right here. That's going to be Medicant holding it down. While Country moves in, Cozy Pajamas is going to be in there. Cozy Pajamas goes down. Medicant 1v1 versus Country. 1v2 now. He's going to come in the door. Medicant's going to drop him. He's going to try to get out of there. He's taking some shots. Oh, and he goes down. Him in. Country's going to take him and start securing that flag for his team. Again, Phoenix Elite Network trying to get above that 400 mark so they have less than 100 tickets to go when it comes down to it. Skyline moving back in on Delta trying to do something here to stop the burn. He's going to run into a guy. Oh, and he's going to pick him up right there. Nice shot. He's got one more right out in front of him. He's not going to shoot him for some reason. 
and he is going to go down, and there you have it. D12 is going to take the first round with 405 tickets, so Phoenix Elite Network has their work cut out for him. Did they learn something from that map? We are going to find out this next round. Very, very good job by D12 coming in. I believe this is going to be their first hardcore match, if I'm not mistaken. Scruffy at Ted Stryker, AMZ at Sleepy and Sloke grabbing the top spots for their team, grabbing that ace squad. Buzzkiller, Sleepy, Dirt, Rags, Blackhawk, Dirty Blunts, and Medicant, the leader, grabbing the top spot. Scruffy coming in. And AMZ right below him. AMZ with 32 kills right there. Fluffy Marshmallow is doing work in that plane. 13 and 4. You know they are struggling not having that third person camera. On the other side, Chenander, Wind Sentinel, MN Country, Greyhound, Tomcat, Pestilence, and a crazy Indian grabbing the top spots for Phoenix Elite Network. As we jump into round two of the first map with this 16 v 16 conquest hardcore between d12 and phoenix elite network right here on the hardcore league battle jamas in here aka cozy pajamas for d12 Again, we're going to throw up a little information on both teams. Be sure to give them a follow. And got to give props to D12 jumping in for a hardcore match, being a core team as they are probably practicing for the tournament as the tournament's going to be in hardcore, as the majority of our teams are hardcore teams. We hope to have some core tournaments, or who knows, with what's coming up. With EA and DICE, if they announce something sweet, we may have a happy middle ground for everybody. Again, all of this is brought to you by the Hardcore League, sponsored by Gamers Community. Do not forget to drop that follow. Turn those notifications on because you do not want to miss the tournament we've got coming up. It is going to be insane. I was just talking about it. D12 is going to be there. Phoenix Elite Network is going to be there. So you're kind of getting a prequel right now. So be sure and check it out. And they are sending a large force over to Delta, so let's see what happens. We got a lot of planes that are coming in. Drop all oh, and drop bombs, and that will go down. STP. Senior sacrifice, Agro Lumix still in there. Smiling Grimace moving in with that tank. Oh, yes, yeah, Trippy Don't Got Memo. Oh, but he will be dropped by Max Fantastic. Still in that tank. Take a look at the scoreboard. And the team's off to a great start. Great start. He's going to take a shot in his back. And they are dropping bombs right there. Squad bomb right there on the tank. And you saw it there, our partners, real. Be sure to check them out. Give them a follow. Xbox One Gamers Community or Xbox One Battlefield One Community on Facebook. The largest Xbox One community out there. Be sure to check them out. Kumazoku Entertainment doing reviews on games and interviews with gamers such as myself. If you're interested on how I got started in competitive gaming, jump over there and check them out. Rec Filming coming in with some amazing cinematics. They helped us out with our promo video. They also do some wicked screenshots. 
iClan's websites, those are the guys that, that give you a place to park your team. And they're also doing some awesome, awesome features for us, which I'm sure some of the teams have seen us testing right now. That's right. Challenges are being tested right now. A new feature. We are testing those bad boys out, and we are going to report to any bugs that we find so that we can get them working for our teams, and they will be ready at the start of our open season Coming up real soon, right after the tournament, so you guys will be able to use it. And we're going to see the teams roll out. We're going to have Phoenix Elite Network in blue. We're going to have D12 in red. <clears throat> and we're going to jump in with Fluffy Marshmallows as he heads straight for that bomber. Looking to do some damage on it, dropping some grenades as well. And he may not be able to go into third person, but we most certainly can. We're going to see him drop back around on this plane. It's going to be Rebel in the bomber taking shots and going down. Rebel's going to go ahead and bail out onto the golf objective. And we're going to see a 1v1 right here that could be very important. If Rebel can pull it out, it may put his team in the lead. Gonna see him down low. Oh, but he is gonna go down pistol versus pistol. He's gonna get pistol whipped by Buzzkiller. And that is gonna be all she wrote on that flag. Phoenix Elite Network <clears throat> trying to come out a little bit stronger this time. Looking for an early four cap. D12 moving in. On Edward, they're going to be taking it. Wind Sentinel, the only thing stopping him, and he is going to go down from the plane. Fluffy Marshmallows dropping bombs into D12, looking to grab an early five cap right now and really hurt Phoenix Elite Network. This is going to be hard to come back from. They're going to need to push, but D12 is getting defensive. They've got the high ground. And Phoenix Elite Network is going to have a hard time pushing up. And there you have it. Solid five cap right now. We are going to see Phoenix Elite Network just hemorrhage tickets right now. They are going to have some problems. We're going to see a couple moving in right here. Hardcore Ashy looking to make a move on Delta. We're going to jump in with him real quick. Going down though. Slope picks him up. Cozy Pajamas. Looking to grab possibly some high ground here. I'm not sure he's way out in the open there. Who do we have left? Greyhound anchoring for his team. Hurt, but he's going to pick one up right there. That's going to be Zoink Toaster. All right, he's going to get dropped. I'm not sure where he got dropped from. Hardcore actually coming back in. He's going to pick one up. Looking for a second one. He's going to find the second one. Unable to drop him. Going to wing a grenade over there. Does not get anybody with it. But gets ready to make a move. Two contacts out front, but going down. Scruffy's going to pick him up. Skyline is right behind him. And Skyline is going to get the revive on him. Another grenade's going to come in. Narrowly missing Hardcore Ashy. Oh, and he's going to put some shots in a friendly. Getting a little nervous. Oh, but he's going to drop one right there. Picking up Scruffy. And going to start securing Delta. So Phoenix Elite Network also dropping back and grabbing golf. They are losing Alpha, however. And Bravo. They're gaining the Duff flag. But the battle is going to be real right here. Zoink Toaster going around the outside. Is going to catch Triplet in the back and drop him. Infamous Pup. Just hanging out in the car here. Going to see Zoink Toaster. Dirty Blunts. Maybe able to get something in on him. If he's sneaky about it. But nonetheless, D12 is going to grab a hold of that base as well and extend their lead. Bosch is going to get caught out of position. AMZ is going to drop him. AMZ single-handedly making a push up under the Duff objective. We're going to see how he does right here. He's going to catch one out of position. He's going to get a two-piece right there. 
So grabbing three single-handedly and moving in, looking to clear this flag out. I think he's got some backup now, and he's going to pick the final one up, which is going to be Varnon, and they're going to start securing Duff. They are also grabbing up Edward, and they're fighting it out on Foxtrot. Again, this will be devastating for Phoenix Elite Network. If they lose all of these flags, it looks like they're going to concentrate their forces over under the Delta flag. We're going to try to get an overview right here, but so is D12. Crazy Indian battling it out. Blackhawk dropping one, looking for a second when Shenander's going to pick him up. Scruffy's going to try to get him with the pistol right here. Shenander's going to come around and drop him, looking for one more, but going down to AMZ. And they're going to secure that up. Phoenix Elite Network getting versatile, though. Doing some work on Edward, Golf, Alpha, Bravo, and Charlie. Tomcat holding Charlie solo. Has got some contacts moving up on him. Oh, and going to go down. Sloak is going to get him with that revolver. But one more spun in on him. Dirt Regs moving up with a tank. Looking to do some damage on Charlie. Trying not to kill friendlies. We have lost it's definitely difficult and hardcore. Medicant trying to hold out on the Butter's objective. He knows he's got some contacts around here. McJames jumping in. Did I champ in the weekend shoutcast? I'm trying, my man. Back to back, two in a row. Oh, grabbing a sweet little headshot on Infamous Pup. Medicant holding it down for his team. Wiping him off of Bravo momentarily. And he knows he's got another one now. Oh, and going to get caught by Pin Bosch. Leader versus Leader. Bosch is going to take him out right there to start securing the flag for his team. Skyline's going to be moving up the Delta right here. Phoenix Elite Network looking to make a comeback. Remember, the ticket count is 405. If D12 gets to 406, they're going to win this, the second round of the first map and the map. So Phoenix Elite Network does not want to let that happen. Skyline's going to have one out in front. We're going to get a little lag, but Blackhawk is going to drop him with the pistol. Pin Bosch looks like he's moving in on the golf objective. Gonna get a limpet on the wall. Take it down so they can move in. Gonna have an artillery car here, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Gonna get some backup. You can see that it got called out. He's gonna get a hit on it. Looking to get another one. Oh, barely misses it, and it's gonna roll out of there, so they're gonna secure up. The golf objective, which is going to give them a solid four cap. So they're going to try to move the tickets in their favor. However, they are losing Freddy. McJames wanting to see some crazy Indian. I think we can make that happen. If I can find him, let's see where crazy is. Crazy's been in the planes. But he's also been jumping down. And we're going to find him right here, right as he picks somebody up. Sloke going down to crazy Indian. Is he securing Duff with his team? Gonna have a contact moving in on the objective. Crazy's gonna be looking for him. We have taken objective done. But they are gonna secure it. Maintain the four cap. Crazy going down though to Slope. Slope getting some revenge. Wind Sentinel close there, but going down as well. Chenander moving around Delta, taking some shots in the back. That's gonna be the plane. Fluffy dropping bombs and picking up a solid two piece on Wind Sentinel and Chenander right there. Doing work on the flag. Let's jump in with old Fluffy as he lines back up for another run on Delta. Dropping even more bombs. And there you have it.
moving over the Edward objective. Phoenix Elite Network barely maintaining that four cap, but closing the ticket gap to a 70 ticket lead. Fluffy Marshmallows lining up, putting some shots in. He's going to grab one, dropping some grenades, and gets a solid two piece there to help on the Delta objective. But look at Phoenix Elite Network as they start securing up. The flag, your dirt rags in the tank, though, causing some problems. Scruffy picking them up as well. Moist Kumquat, the only one left looking to do some work, but going down at the hands of Scruffy. And they're going to lose. Foxtrot objective. Buzzkiller moving in, getting some backup as well. Oh, turning on Wind yeah, Sentinel. And they're going to try to secure up this objective here. Almost uncontested. Who do we have moving in? Skylined, Bosch, and Ashy. Looks like they're redirecting over to the Charlie flag. Might not be a smart move. They have a couple moving in to Delta. We've got Chenander here. Picking one up from down low. Looking for a second one, but going down. Blackhawk's going to deny him. And D12 looks to secure the majority. Tomcat and M Country looking to do something against Cozy Pajamas. They are going to secure the flag, but they don't have anything for the artillery as they are both medics. Changas is going to come in here, rolling the support kit, and they're going to start bailing out. And they're just going to give the flag right back to D12. How are they not? They are not giving up on the Freddy flag. Hanging in there. Oh, but going down dirt regs in that A7. Laying shells down. And look at D12 doing a spread approach onto the Bravo objective. Can't even see where I'm looking right here. Oh, the fog. Pestilent looking to be moving out. And D12 grabbing the four cap and extending their lead to a hundred ticket lead right now. Blackhawk pushing down. Oh, but gonna get dropped by Varnon right there. All right, and grabbing the overview yet again. Phoenix Elite Network is going to be making a push onto Charlie as the fog is starting to clear out. Sloke's going to be there trying to drop one, but Shenander is going to catch him out of position and put him on the ground. Sleepy's going to be moving in on the back. He's going to have several contacts out front. Let's see how he handles it here. We're going to pick the one up that went in the, uh, in the tower right there. Getting some backup from AMZ and Sloke. He hears the tank and being a core player using that spot so he knows where it's at. Gonna look to get a limpet charge on it and it's well placed. Gonna hurt the tank. He's looking for another limpet. Looking to drop the contact on the second floor. Oh, I'm gonna pick him up with a nice headshot right there. That's gonna be Moist Kumquat going down. And D12 has the majority. They're looking to get a five cap on Phoenix Elite Network. Crazy Indian in the plane is going to drop Ted Stryker. But he's going to have to deal with Fluffy Marshmallows. Wrapping around. Crazy's looking for him. They're going to go right by each other. He's going to continue to wrap around. And they're going to play Ring Around the Rosie for a minute. Crazy almost dropping in on him there. Ted Stryker coming back though. And crazy causing and Ted Stryker to wreck into the water using the fog to his advantage. What a move right there by Crazy Indian. Grabbing some high ground and trying to get away so he can get a spot on that plane. And I think he has. No, he does not have visual. He's going to wrap back around. 
And Fluffy Marshmallow has got the spot on him. He's going to roll into the six, but Crazy's going to pull a slick move and try to drop in underneath him. We are losing. Fluffy still trying to get around on his six. Fluffy, though, in the attack. And Crazy in the fighter. They're almost going to go head to head right there. Crazy's going to try to keep rapping. As D12 has taken this map, as they've got over 405 tickets. Crazy Indian looking to get one more kill on Fluffy here. But Fluffy's going to drop in behind him. It's going to be sketchy for him for a second. Fluffy's going to break off and actually drop some flares under the Charlie flag. Crazy's going to spot him. He's going to line him up and start putting shots in on him. Fluffy is going to hit the brakes and try to get away, but Crazy is staying right on his six. Putting some shots in, and he's going to take him out. Crazy Indian grabbing the air, but crashing into the ground, so it doesn't do him any good on either side. As Phoenix Elite Network starts pushing up under the Charlie flag, as these tickets wind down. And D12 coming out strong in their first hardcore official match here on the Hardcore League. And there you have it. Phoenix Elite Network is going to take this map. We are going to move on to the next map. You just tuned in. You're just in time for the second map between Phoenix Elite Network and Dirty Dozen right here on the Hardcore League. Scruffy, Ted Striker, AMZ, Sleepy, and Sloke grabbing the Ace Squad. And here it is over on Pinside, MN Country, Chenander, Changas, Tom Camp, Varnon, Infamous Pup, and Crazy Indian grabbing the top spots. On the other side, Dirt Rags, Blackhawk, Sleepy, Dirty Blunts, AMZ, Medicant, the leader, grabbing the top spots. And Scruffy down there with a solid 25 kills doing work. Fluffy Marshmallow in the plane, 18 and 3. So D12 definitely came to play on hardcore today. And we are going to roll into round one of map two, which is going to be on Amons. So we'll see how they do without having the air. As we move forward again, this is brought to you by the Hardcore League, sponsored by Gamers Community. So you're saying I can ask this cat any question? The cat is connected to the computer. You just type in the question, and it will read his mind. There the answer comes. You're the man! I've been looking for this for weeks. All right, guys. So it looks like we have a front lines match set on here. We are going to have everybody back out and jump back into it and um, and get the server set correctly here. I believe that was probably just a mistake during the setup. We had a lot of matches going on today, so we will be right back, ladies and gentlemen.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back in right now. We did have a little mess up there as the server was set for a Frontlines match, which would be very interesting to watch. However, that's not what was scheduled. We do apologize for that. We did have a very, very busy day, but we are back on top of it. We've got the server set up. The teams are jumping back in here, and we will be back in business momentarily. Right after a couple of little promos, we're going to jump back into this and get ready for round one of the second map. D12 took the first map. We're going to go into the second map in this 16v16 conquest between Phoenix Elite Network and the Dirty Dozen. Down right here on the Hardcore League. Again, we're going to throw some information up on both teams. And while I see him in the chat, Fluffy Marshmallows chiming in. We want to give a shout out to Fluffy as he is helping us with our dogfight tournament. That's right. We are going to see dogfight tournaments as we did back in Battlefield 4 in the Jets and the Choppers. But these are going to be in the old style planes. I'm really excited to see that. We're going to try to do that after the tournament. And it should be very, very good. The teams are filing back in right now. Phoenix Elite Network just saw a couple jump in. We're going to get this round on and popping to finish the night out. It's been a long day of casting. We started at 11 a.m. today with a PC match between Omni and DC Dog Company. Omni took that match, followed by Strike Team 6 versus 405. 405 came out victorious there. And then EXM versus Enjoy. I'm not sure who took that match there. I'm not 100% on that. If somebody was watching, let me know. Foggy10 in here from Strike Team 6. They fought the good fight today against 405. 405's debut match. They came out really strong and walked away with the W. You can catch that in our archived files. Does anybody know who took the Enjoy EXM? I, I watched it for a brief second, and I believe EXM was in the lead when I was watching it, but I do not know who actually took it. As we get ready, right now, both teams are filing in. Actually, where's the pin, boys? I'm not in the Phoenix Elite Na Network guys in here. Going Skyline to join the server. Seeing that pop up here. And hopefully they get in by the three-minute mark. I imagine D12 will probably not move. Pin Bosch showing that he joined in as well. So they're going to be loading into the game. And there they are. Chenander jumping in. Along with some of the D12 boys. They've got plenty of time. Three minutes. They should be able to 
start filling the server crazy indian jumping in rufal wind sentinel hardcore ashy so the teams are starting to load in the rounds just now restarting so the three minute mark is going to start counting down right now and it looks like we're going to have d12 E12 in blue and Phoenix Elite Network in red. So we're going to swap up our team labels here. And there you have it. We are all lined out and correct. Paul Protus jumping in. EXM1 is what I'm hearing. Good job, EXM. Was it a good match? Was it a close match? Did you guys go into overtime? I don't think you did. And we are getting ready to rock and roll as both teams start filling in here. D12 looks like they've got the numbers. Phoenix Elite Network is almost there. They still have two full minutes. So I imagine we are going to fire off right at go time. We'll just have to see what happens. They're slowly filing in. Phoenix Elite Network up to up to 11 members, it looks like. E12, 15. The pin's going to need five. 12 only needs one. Time counts down. Paul Protus, no, this match is not just starting. We just jumped back in. We had a server faux pas there. This is going to be a round one of the second map here on Amon's. E12 took the first map. Took out Phoenix Elite Network by about 95 tickets in the first round and a little more in the second round. And if you're just jumping in, this is Phoenix Elite Network versus Dirty Dozen. We've got about 30 seconds until these teams fire off. It looks like D12 has not spawned in yet. We're going to see if Pin moves out. And as our teams are very professional, you can see in the chat right there, Medicant letting us know that we're starting at the five-minute mark just to be safe as both these teams want to get all of their people in very respectable on both sides and there you have it they are almost there phoenix elite network coming in with 15 in with 15 so one and one on both sides Just for the record, both of these teams will be in the end of season tournament. You are not going to want to miss that bad boy because it is going to be on and popping. We're going to have a lot of special guests. I can't release them all right now, but you're going to see Prophet on Fire. You're going to see Deity. You're going to see Necrosaurus Rex. You're going to see Brett FX and more. I cannot release them all right now, but we will. And it's going to be this tournament right here coming up in August, the 19th and the 20th, the 26th and the 27th across Xbox and PC, Conquest and Rush right here on the Hardcore League. And they are sending a large force over to Delta, so let's see what happens. We got oh, the planes that are coming in. Drop all oh, in drop bombs, and that will go down. SCP. Senior sacrifice, Agro Lumix still in there. Smiling Grim is moving in with that tank. Oh, yes, Tribute Don't Got Memo. Oh, but he will be dropped by Max Fantastic. Still in that tank. Look at the scoreboard. And the team's off to a great start. Great start. He's going to take a shot in his back. And they are dropping bombs right there. Squad bomb right there on the tank. 
Here we go. Both teams getting ready to rock and roll. Less than 10 seconds, and they are going to fire off. D12 lined up. We're going to have D12 in blue, Phoenix Elite Network in red. And if you're just jumping in, this is going to be round one of the second map. Going down. Both teams firing off again. We're going to grab this overview. See which way Bosch takes this car. It looks like he's going to run underneath. He's going to have one bail out and start securing that objective. Oh, he's going to look to run one over, but he is going to miss. But the gunner, Greyhound, is going to pick him up. He's going to try to get out of there before he catches a tank grenade. And he is going to make it sliding around the backside. D12 coming in with a solid three cap right off the bat. Crazy Indian trying to hold it down all the way at the other end. We're going to jump in with him and see what he can do right here. He is in trouble. He's hurt, but they are going to secure up Delta. And he's going to start moving up, but he's going to go down. Sleepy is going to move in. And D12 is looking to grab this back cap. We're going to jump in with Scruffy. Oh, as he gets dropped by the car, Mr. Triplet is going to pick him up. And they're going to maintain that cap. We're going to see a little back burn on Alpha. This is going to be an important fight. We've got Country Skyline and Tom Cat in here, along with Pinbosh, the leader, and Rufal, Mr. Ninja going down, and Phoenix Elite Network is actually going to secure this objective up uncontested now, and that's going to give him an early four cap, which is what they need to jump in the lead. Cozy Pajamas is moving in. He's going to try to stop him right here. He's got a contact right out in front. He's going to wing a grenade we are losing objective and move out, and Phoenix Elite Network also moving on to the Bravo flag, jumping out into a 10-ticket lead. Early in the first round of the second map, they are wanting to win this match, no doubt. But look at that. D12 moves in heavy with contact. Skyline going to be trying to come in and save this flag right here. He's going to get caught out of position of contact out front. And he is going to go down from kill them all. Greyhound's going to be moving up, though, along with Hardcore Ashy moving into the Bravo objective. As Phoenix Elite Network is securing Bravo, they're losing Delta, but they have jumped out into about a 10-ticket lead, as I said a minute ago, early in the first round of the second map. And D12 is doing work on, on the Delta flag, it looks like. Blackhawk and Sleepy moving in. Varnon AMZ is going to run into him right here. AMZ is going to go down, though. At the hands of Wind Sentinel, but it's not going to stop him from securing up Delta. Crazy Indian's coming out. He's looking to drop one. He's going to pick up a two-piece right there, but it's not going to save the flag. Buzzkiller going down from Sleepy, getting dropped from a friendly Chenander in here as well. Oh, he's going to try to syringe one, but Blackhawk is going to drop him. And Phoenix Elite Network secures Bravo. They're going to fall off Bravo and move back toward the Alpha objective. Death is moving up toward Bravo. And Phoenix Elite Network is putting some putting some numbers onto Delta as well. Who's going to try to stop them? We're going to jump in with Medicant right here. The leader following Fluffy Marshmallows into the Alpha objective. They're going to be taking some shots. Fluffy's going to shut the door. The Medicant's going to circle back around. Phoenix Elite Network still in the lead by only about five tickets. Cozy Pajamas moving in as well. Medicant just spotted one. Right out front. Oh, and he's going to go down. Rufal is going to drop him. Greyhound moving back up onto Bravo. We're going to see a little bit of a tank battle right here. Dirt regs in the tank. Skyline going after him. It's going to put a shell right on him and skirt right by the tank right there. Skyline doing damage. Kill them all is going to bail out, and Skyline's going to sacrifice himself to take that tank out. And Phoenix Elite Network is going for the four cap as they're looking to secure Bravo. Death is going to be moving up. He's going to drop Hardcore Ashy right there and try to get a little bit of Overwatch. Circle back around and move into the objective. One of them going down. Greyhound is going to be on the flag. Oh, but Death is going to find him and pick him up and stop them from getting the four cap. Buzzkiller looking to stop this burn here. And he's going to pick one up with a pistol right there. 
Oh, but goes down to Wind Sentinel and Phoenix Elite Network's gonna start securing up the Charlie Flag. Blackhawk has got a beat on him at distance and is gonna pick him up and stop the burn on Charlie. So D12 is looking to go for the four cap and they have jumped out into the lead by about five tickets themselves. Hardcore Ashy has a little bit of overwatch on Bravo. He's gonna need some contacts to spawn in and help him out here. He's gonna move in on the objective. He's got at least one contact. He's checking the corner, but gonna go down. Sleepy catches him out of position and D12 is gonna work on getting the four cap right here. They're going to be battling that out on Delta. Who do we have down here? Can't seem to land on him. But they're going to win the battle. It's going to be Buzzkiller. And D12 also moving back into the Edward objective as well. Sloak. Going to push in on it. Going to drop in on the flag. Going to be uncontested currently. Going to have a contact moving in. Chenander, crazy Indian. Oh, but going to go down. He's going to get picked up. Chenander looking for the flank. He's going to catch him out of position. And he's going to drop him with that shotgun. So they're going to manage to maintain the echo burn. But they have dropped in tickets about 40 tickets down now make yeah about 40 tickets down amz looking to go around the outside possibly moving up on the edward burn he's gonna catch one out of position he's actually gonna get dropped by sloke right there it's gonna be mr triplet going down infamous pup is around the corner Looking for the revive. Going to get the revive, but they're both going to go right back down by AMZ, getting a two-piece on them. And Phoenix Elite Network has grabbed the three-cat back. They are going to be losing Echo any moment now as Z12 has got in around behind them. Fluffy Marshmallow dropping a crazy Indian on the outside over here. I'm going to try to get on him. He's got one more coming. We're going to see what he does right here. Up close. And he's going to pick him up right there. That's going to be Wind Sentinel going down. So he's going to stop the assault as they try to move around to the back flag. Scruffy and Dirty Blunts drop in Phoenix Elite Network as they try to move up. We're going to see Hardcore Ashy, Wind Sentinel, Skylined, The Moist, Kumquat. Tomcat, all oh, pushing up toward this. Medicant's going to be in trouble, and he is going to go down. Wind Sentinel's going to pick him up, and they're going to start securing Delta. However, they are losing Echo out from behind him. And they're trying to make a push up on to Bravo, but they're going to go down. Dirt Regs in that tank is going to shut him down. Country looking to get around to the back cap, and is going to make it. And look at the squad bomb they had back there. It's going to be crazy. Kill them all is moving up. He's going to try to stop them. We're going to see what he can do here. The Phoenix Elite Network is going to try to secure the alpha flag now. Oh, going down. Mr. Triplet is going to drop him. Rebel Country's in on the flag. He's going to get a revive on Pestilence. They're going to grab up that car, and they are going to secure the Alpha objective. However, D12 does have some contacts moving in. Death, Cozy Pajamas, and Medicant moving in. Going to try to clear it out. It's a 2v3 Tomcat, the only one left. Death trying to come around the corner looking for him. He's going to get knife. Tomcat's going to get a two-piece right there. And really help his team out. And he's going to get two revives. So we're going to see a 3-3 match going down. Tomcat looking for another one. And grabbing another one with the Saber. Country coming in and getting the revive. Pin desperately trying to hang on to this flag. And we're going to see a 3-2 swap right here. Mr. Ninja and Kill em All are going to be on the flag. Mr. Ninja's going to drop one right there. It's going to be Tomcat. He's going to be looking for a second one. And another three-on-two split. Three-on-one. Varnan 
And Pestilence coming in, Vernon going down. Pestilence, the only one left, trying to hang in there for his team. Actually, he's got some more backup now that I'm looking at the flag. Phoenix Elite Network doing what they can. Trying to close the ticket gap. We're almost seeing a tie flag right here. We are seeing a tie flag. Oh, and he's going to get caught out of positions. Fluffy Marshmallows is going to drop him. And we're going to see a small 1v1 right here. Rufel trying to hang in there for his team. Oh, the tank almost drops him now. He's going to be in trouble. Tomcat moving in from the other side is going to drop one out front. Going to pick up two, but end up going down from death. And T12 is looking to secure up this flag using the tank. We're also seeing a little battle going on here at Echo Dirty Blunts. Moving in, holding his position in the building. He's got some C4 down low. He's going to pop out and kill one. Seeing a little bit of a lag right there. We have taken objective apples. Still hanging in there. They are losing to Echo. Barnett trying to drop the guy around the corner. Grenade's almost going to take him out. He's going to get some health down. And he picks one up with that grenade. Oh, but he's going to get dropped right there. Blackhawk picking up a friendly in the meantime. And Phoenix Elite Network looks to be pushing up on Charlie. Mr. Ninja coming in. Looking to drop one around the corner. And he's going to try to start securing Charlie. Skyland is in there. He knows he's got contacts all over him. Almost shoots a friendly. Oh, and goes down from Dirt Regs in the tank. Dirt Regs doing work. Let's take a look at Dirt Rigs and see where he's at. 18 and 1. Just doing damage with the tank. For his team. Phoenix Elite Network dropping around on the back burn. D12 in the lead by 100 tickets right now. 120, actually. And we're going to see a big move by this team as they try to move on to the Charlie objective. They just get wiped. I believe they did. Dirt Regs picked up most of them. Blackhawk gets dropped by Chenander in the alley. As Phoenix Elite Network looks to move up. Chenander is going to be chasing down one of them. The tank's going to round that corner. Going to be in trouble. We are losing objective butter. Mr. Triplet moving in, trying to do something to this tank. Oh, going to get dropped. Oh, got a contact moving in. Oh, and he's going to Bartek bludgeon Blackhawk right in the face right there. Going to get over by the tank and just wing a blind grenade out there. Winging out another one. Oh, and he's going to get him. Taking out Dirt Reds in the tank with a blind grenade. Mr. Triplet pulling a clutch move here. Hanging in on the flag. He's hurt real bad, but his team is coming in to help him out. He's getting overran by D12. On the flag. We have taken objective dark. But he's still hanging in there. Oh, and Blackhawk with a jumping maneuver to take him out. And there you have it. D12 is going to take the first round of the second map by almost 150 tickets. Phoenix Elite Network is going to have the work cut out for them. They're going to have to change up their tactics as we roll into round two of the second map. Right here on the Hardcore League, we're going to take a look at who grabbed the top squad. And it's going to be Sleepy, Scruffy, Sloke, Ted Stryker, and AMZ. I feel like I've seen those names before. The Dirty Dozen Squad taking the A Squad. Let's take a look at the scoreboard. AMZ, Sleepy, Dirt Regs, Sloke, Mr. Ninja, Medicant, the leader, grabbing the top spots. Scruffy grabbing 22 kills. Blackhawk, 24. Buzzkiller, 24 as well. 
On the other side, Tomcat, him in country, Rufal, Greyhound, and Press Pestilent grabbing the top spot skyline as well. And look at Greyhound doing some work. 30 and 18 right there. Putting it down for Phoenix Elite Network as we roll into the next round. This 16 V16 conquest between Phoenix Elite Network and the Dirty Dozen. Brought to you by the Hardcore League. Sponsored by Gamers Community. Be sure to uh, check out those lovely partners as well. We threw some links up for you. Xbox One Gamers Community. Again, the largest Xbox One community out there. You can find them on Facebook. The link is right there. Rec Filming. Do some amazing cinematics. Also helped us with our awesome promo reel. Kumazoku Entertainment. They are just that. They bring you the entertainment interviews with gamers such as myself, finding out where they started, what was the first system, the whole nine. Also does reviews on games, so be sure to check them out. iClan websites helping us tremendously with our website and can help you with your website. If you have a team and you need a place to park them, iClans is the place to go. They've got amazing customer support, and they, they just do a killer job. We're about to be debuting a new feature that they have got ready for us that's right our teams are going to be able to challenge other teams currently they they work it out via verbal we actually help them set up the matches but they're going to be able to set it up put it on the calendar and report it all by themselves got boost spike jumping in the score is d12 1 in 0 currently d12 took the first map and they took the first round of the second map. We are rolling into the second round of the second map. And Phoenix Elite Network is going to need to beat 12, beat D12 by around 150 tickets if they want to take this to overtime and try to grab the victory. So we're going to see if they can pull it off. As we roll into what could be the final round we're gonna have d12 in red phoenix elite network in blue we get ready get on and popping and again if you haven't already done so be sure to uh snipe that follow button and turn those notifications on because you are not going to want to miss our tournament coming up in august And they are sending a large force over to Delta, so let's see what happens. We got a lot of planes that are coming in. Drop all in drop bombs, and that will go down. STP. still in there. Smiling Grimace moving in with that tank. Oh, yes. Trippy don't got memo. Oh, but he will be dropped by Max Fantastic. Still in that tank. Doesn't look for scoreboard. And the team's off to a great start. Great start. He's gonna take a shot in his back. And they are dropping bombs right there. Squad bomb right there on the tank. Alright, and we are just a few seconds away. Boost, I think what it is is they're is they're suffering. They they don't they don't have you in that baby tank, my man. They don't have you tanking it up in that little tank. And they're suffering. Or it. So we are going to see Hardcore Ashy moving out in a car. Skyline moving out in a vehicle as well. Again, we're going to grab this overview. It is a little foggy. Dirty Blunts rolling their car up. P 
Pin Bosch rolling this car up. We're going to see them go right by each other. Oh, they're going to run into each other head to head. Scruffy's going to try to drop it with a shell. Oh, and he's going to get it. AMZ actually got a, a limpet charge on it and takes them all out right there. Goodness gracious, that was absolutely insane right there. And D12 is going to start moving up under the to Delta flag. And Phoenix Elite Network is at a loss right here as they don't have anybody on the Charlie flag. And D12 is moving in on it very, very quick right now. Pestilence is moving up in the light tank. But, but D12 is already heavy in the objective. He's got a tank way down at distance. Cozy pajamas down here. Actually in the artillery. Putting some shells down range. And D12 grabbing the early forecap. This is not good for Phoenix Elite Network. They are going to struggle. Infamous Pup is going to run into one. He's going to take one out, but go down at the hands of Buzzkiller. Chenander is going to be moving in right behind him. We're going to see what he can do here. He is going to get the revive. He's going to try to bail out of there as quick as he can. Oh, but going down, Ted Stryker picking him up. The Phoenix Elite Network is now going to be moving up onto the Charlie objective. Skyline's trying to hold it down. Going to have a car moving through. Mr. Triplet bringing him in on Charlie. They're going to go for the, uh, the three cap right here. But Ted Stryker drops back onto the back burn. Vernon is going to come in and try to stop him. We're going to see what he can do. He's going to have contacts moving in on his right as well. He knows he's got a contact in there. He's going to wait for some backup. Crazy's going to take some shots. Vernon is going to find him, but go down as Buzzkiller catches him out of position. And Buzzkiller is going to pick up yet another one. So they're going to start securing that uncontested. Sloke spawning in. He's going to try to stop this burn on Echo. Oh, there's one lane on the on the ground right there. Pin Bosch with a snaky position picking one up. Pin Bosch is going to run into another one right here. Oh, and pick up another one. The leader of Phoenix Elite Network doing some work for his team and dropping a couple right here so they can secure up the Echo flag. They're going to need to... Uh, Definitely make some moves as D12 has jumped out to a 50 ticket lead early in round two of the second map. Going down though, Pin Bosch. I don't know what killed him actually. Seemed to go down right there. Mr. Ninja trying to hang in there, picking up one, but going down at the hands of Moist. Kumquat. And the car coming in and running somebody over. That was Mr. Triplet rolling that car around. Phoenix Elite Network liking to use the vehicle. AMZ looking to get in here. In the beginning of the match, he got a wicked limpet charge on one of the cars and got like a three or four piece. It was pretty insane. He's going to look for one at distance, put some shots down on him, but I don't think he picked anybody up. He did not. And the flag, the Foxtrot, is going to be stalemated. It's now going to start going into the hands of D12. AMZ picking up Tomcat right there. There you have it. We have back here the rebel. Oh, trying to fight it out. Gonna get pistol whipped by Scruffy right there. You're not gonna be able to do much. Phoenix Elite Network is struggling. They're working on the Foxtrot objective. They've got a light tank moving into Alpha, Buzz Killer, and Dirty Blunts trying to do something about it. The tank is gonna pop smoke and exit stage left. It looks like he may be moving on to Bravo. He's just gonna leave that flag there. He is. Getting chased by Dirty Blunts and Buzzkiller. They want to take the tank down. Pestilence is going to move through the tunnel. Try to do some damage here, but he's going to have two contacts moving in behind him. Buzzkiller is going to be right on top of him, but Buzzkiller is going to get dropped. 
Nice move by Pestilence to pull in and get some backup. He's going to take a shot. AMZ is going to go down. They are going to start securing Bravo. And Phoenix Elite Network looking for the four cap right here. But I don't know if they're going to be able to do it. Crazy Indian looking to come in and help. He's got a contact on his left. He's going to drop one. He's looking for another one on his right, but he's going to go down. Scruffy is going to drop him. And D12 is going to secure up that and deny the four cap that Phoenix Elite Network was going for. Greyhound looking to move in. He did a very good job last time. Throwing the limpet charge in. Walking into a grenade, though, and it's going to go down. Pin Bosch is going to move up and try to secure this flag as well. Oh, but he's going to get caught out of position by AMZ. And it's going to go down. Bill Maul is going to be holding here on the Edward flag. Oh, and he's going to pick one up from distance. Crazy Indian going down to the Automatico. We have lost objective butter. Enemy's the D.T. Storm jumping in the chat. The... the the battle is going very, very good right now. D12 coming out really strong in their first hardcore match. We have taken objective Charlie. Yep. Oh, is not going to see too many people right here. We are going to see a light tank. Death. Trying to do something back here on this objective. We're going to see what happens. He's got a lot of contacts around him. He's going to run one over right there. Oh, and he's caught in the tracks. He's going to take a grenade, and he's going to start moving out. He's got a nice skin on that tank. I do dig it. Oh, picking up another one right there. Because he's going to get some support moving in on the flag. Let's see who's there. Fluffy Marshmallows. Going to come in and see what he can do. Oh, take some shots in the back. Crazy Indian is going to drop him. Mr. Ninja is going to move in behind him. Going to catch one out front, but go down. Varnon is going to drop him. Ben Bosch back in the car doing what he does. Trying to run one over. He's going to miss him. Going to try to get around the corner. Grenade almost takes him out. He bails out just in time. He's going to oh, almost catch one, but goes down. Drops him down to 10 health. And D12 is putting the screws to him right now. Looking to get ahead by 100 tickets. Scruffy knows he's got some contacts around here. But they are all going to go down. And again, Death looking to kill some people. Picking up one right there. Rolling right in on the flag. Trying not to run over his own guys. go ahead and back out and it was a smart move as he starts taking some shots there gonna have contacts all around crazy Indian looking to do something trying to get that limpet out oh he's gonna get caught out of position and he is gonna go down death is just wrecking in that tank right now let's see where he's sitting in fact 10 and 3. Limpet's going to go down on the ground. Oh, and it does hurt him. Takes him down quite a bit. He's going to get caught out of position between two tanks and have some serious problems right here. Buzzkiller's going to come out and pick up one. Pistol Whip Bosch right there, the leader of Phoenix Elite Network, going down. And Buzzkiller... Going to look to try to stop the burn on the Edward flag. He's going to put some shots in on one, but it's not going to be enough. Oh, and I believe he did. He dropped one, but Varnon is going to put him down. Medicamp back on the Alpha flag. 
Burning it for his team. Going up against the small tank. Again, Pestilence. Moving in. AMZ chasing him, no doubt, with that Limpet. And he did. He got it on him. You can see him right down the side tank. And boom, he is going to go down. AMZ, the Limpet King. If you guys missed it in the beginning of the round, he wasted the car with three to four guys in it. I have to go back and watch it. It was very impressive. This is what Hitman Pike would call a war crime as he just devastated that car in, in one fatal swoop. The car tried to get around. He got a limpet on it. The car thought it was clean to get away and boom, took him down to Brown Town. We've got Death back in this tank. He's going to be looking for some contacts. They're going to be Hiding in the bushes right there. Taking some shots from both sides, and they're about to get wiped. And there they go. They get completely wiped off of the flag. We do have one Phoenix Elite Network trying to push in. This is going to be Tomcat. He's going to catch a grenade. And he manages to stay alive. He's got a contact looking to drop shot him. But he's going to get a quick no scope on him and set the flag to neutral. Again, it's already over, ladies and gentlemen. D12 has won the match. They've won the round. But Phoenix Elite Network put up a good fight. Tomcat picking up another one on the Echo objective right there. Taking some shots from death in that light tank on the Edward flag. One of them going down. AMZ's in there. Light grenade about takes him out. He's going to move up the stairs and he's going to drop one. That's going to be Mr. Ninja. He's going to try to get some high ground. And he's going to be clear on the flag. He's going to work on getting this revive on his guy. He's going to get a revive on country, but goes down at the hands of Fluffy Marshmallow. Going to get a revive, a grenade right next to him, and goes back down. Fluffy Marshmallow is dropping him yet again. Mr. Ninja moving in as well, taking some shots from up top, going down from Rufal and D12. Coming out really, really strong for their first hardcore competitive match. Skyline coming up against a lot of players right there and going down. Who else do we have back here? Let's take a look. Got Wind Sentinel and Country. Country trying to do something, taking some shots in his back. The contact's out front. He's going to go for the revive and get dropped as D12. Just has too many players right there. Going toaster dropping down, getting dropped by Crazy Indian. They've got some more moving in. Scruffy and Sleepy. Sleepy's gonna pick one up. Scruffy's gonna roll around the corner and grab one. Hardcore Ashy from range though is gonna pick one up as this match ends. Clean dozen doing work, Krulik says. Krula, one of the leaders of D12. Coming in, we did not see him in the game. Must have been busy. Nonetheless, A Squad, Scruffy, Sleepy, Sloke, Striker, and AMZ. No surprise there. AMZ gets my vote for MVP. And let's take a look. The Moist Kumquat, Pin Rebel, Crazy Indian, Infamous Pup, Mr. Triplet, and Rufal grabbing the top spots for Pin. And there he is, AMZ, the man of the hour, the Limpet King, coming in with 32 and 9. At least five, four or five of those was in the first 30 seconds of the match when he got that amazing Limpet charge off on that car and took them all out. Dirty Blunts right behind him, Sleepy Buzz Killer, Zoink Toaster, Medicant. Grabbing the top spots. You got Scruffy down here, though, with a respectable 24 and 12. 
doing damage death also in that light tank 14 and 3 putting in some work so both teams come in here and did a good good job d12 taking a w for their first hardcore match and uh it was a good match phoenix elite network put up a good fight they're gonna need to uh, adjust their tactics and change things up but nonetheless they have to be happy that d12 offered to play them every match that you play definitely helps out and we appreciate everybody showing up if you just got in here you just missed phoenix elite network versus dirty dozen right here on the hardcore league sponsored by gamers community I have been your shoutcaster for this match. Did I? The Hardcore League. Be sure to give me a follow on my channel as well. And we're going to be closing it out. We appreciate everybody showing up. Be sure to tune in next weekend. I'm sure we are going to have some more matches lined up as we get closer to our end of the season tournament. I know everybody is stoked about that. And again, thanks for watching. Y'all have a good one.